Habs prospect update right here at Talking Habs with Rick, the number one hockey channel. Um, he doesn't seem to get that he's not the number one hockey channel, so it's just humor him, okay? Thanks. Before we get to that, please like, subscribe, ring the bell. That'll notify you of all my videos as they come out. Okay, question of the day. Do you think uh, Ryan Paling gets into a game uh, before the season ends? Do you think Paling will get into a game before the season ends? Comment in the comment section below. I really appreciate it. I read them all. Um, so let's get right to it. Uh, so Ryan Paling has, um, has seen his end... Uh, end CAA career. Sorry, come to an end. Sorry, it's really late here tonight, but I wanted to get this video out. Um, as he has signed his entry-level contract and will join the Habs immediately as his contract begins this season, not next season, and he'll be protected from the uh, Seattle expansion draft since he won't be, be, he won't be playing uh, 11 games. There's not 11 games to play in a Habs uniform this season. He would have to play 11 games. If he did, he would be uh, he would be eligible for Seattle to pick him up. Uh, he signed for three years, so 2018-19, 2019-20, and 2020-2021. So this year he played 35 games for St. Cloud Huskies in the NCAA. He scored eight goals, 23 assists th for 31 points, and he played in all kinds of situations. He had 75 points in 160 NCAA games in his career there. Um, moving on to Josh Brook, he's joined the Laval Rocket. Brook finished his uh, CHL career in Moose Jaw. The defenseman had 75 points this past season, and he's starting his AHL career on the top defensive pairing with Xavier Willett. Uh, Caden Primo has also signed a three-year entry-level contract that starts for next season, so he won't be joining the Habs, he's going to be joining the Rocket. The award-winning goalie will start in Laval for the uh, remainder of the season on a PTO, which is a professional tryout. He spent two seasons with Northeastern University of the NCAA, where he won league championships and individual awards. He has a he had a 9.31 save percentage in his rookie se or his first freshman season, excuse me, that's, and improved that to a 9.33 this season. He could be in Montreal in the next few seasons to apprentice as Price's backup. He seems like this guy, this kid seems like he's got a lot of talent. And uh, yeah, he could be Price's backup. Nick Suzuki should be doing the same thing, signing a, uh, his entry level. As soon as his season is done with Guelph Storm of the OHL, his contract would probably kick in next season. Uh, will obviously kick in next season. And will be. Uh, he should be in training camp with the Habs, I'm sure, in the fall. Um, Suzuki was voted smartest player in the OHL's Western Conference. He was also voted one of the best prospect stick handlers and having one of the best shots by OHL coaches, finishing third and second respectively in those categories. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he's frankly an awesome player. Can't wait to see him in, in the red, white, and blue. Uh, so the Habs are going to be rich in NHL prospects in camp next season, and I hope we'll see we'll be seeing all of them in a Habs uniform at some point in the coming two to three seasons. It's been a few years since the the uh, cupboard in the OH in the OHL and the AHL has been the, this full. Yeah, so it looks like this uh, um, this training camp is going to be nice. We're going to see a lot of the kids up in the training camp and maybe um, get a few of them playing probably nine games or if they do really well stick around and do more next season so it's going to be exciting next season can't wait for that okay so thanks for watching this video i really appreciate it please like subscribe ring the bell that will notify you of all my videos as they come out and yeah as i said thank you uh, i'm going to put up a couple videos here what i'm going to pick one youtube is going to pick for me and uh, that should be it so uh, i'll see you in the next video Bye-bye.